friends, Dylan Bates here, the Final Cut Bro. Today, I'm gonna show you a really quick tip that's gonna save you a lot of time, especially if you work with a lot of colors in Final Cut Pro. So typically, when I am working with a color, what I would do is I would select, say I have my text icon here, I would go down to this face and change the color using this color wheel um, to kind of get it in the general idea of where I'd want it. And then if there were specific colors I needed for a logo, let's say I needed it to be this orange color, I would just always use the eyedropper, I would import palettes, I would do stuff like that. And it just took a lot of extra time. But recently I discovered a much better way and that is the use of color palettes. Now it's not new technology or anything like that, but I was actually really surprised that I wasn't aware of it earlier. To do that, all you're gonna do is come over to this color palette icon right here. Then you'll see that I have all of these different color palettes here. I have one for Final Cut Pro, one for FX Factory, Pro Apps. And what you can do is create an entire palette that makes it very easy to select whatever colors you like. So I'm gonna click on this icon with the three dots. I'm gonna select new. And then to rename it, I'm just gonna select those three dots again, select rename. And let's say I want a palette specifically for my Instagram feed. So I'm gonna type in Instagram. Then I can go through, I can use my color picker. You could select your colors and then you just push this plus icon and it saves it into this palette. Then if you wanna rename it, all you do is double click. Let's say that I want this to be my text color. And then let's say you wanted to select another color and save it as your shadow color. So we'll just push add again and we could do shadow. So you can add in the different colors that way. And one more way to add a color is let's say we just wanted to select the white color here. You can also just click and drag the colors up into this box and now you can rename it. You can also click and drag to move these around. So if there's a color that you use all the time and you want it at the top, you can do that. You can search through your different colors. There are really a ton of features in this color palette that I was not using and it is saving me so much time. Also, if somebody sends you a color palette, you can click on these three dots and select open and you can actually import different color palettes. So that can be super helpful if somebody emails you their color scheme or something along those lines. So hopefully that was helpful to you. If it was, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Why is this dipping so low? Wow, that did that just dip super low during the whole video?